Hey, how's it going? I'm Robert Leake. I'm here at Creative Electron in San Marcos, California, here with the True Count X-Ray component counter machine. And I'm going to give you a sneak preview into Apple's thinnest iPad Pro, the new M4. So let's, let's take a look here. So I'm just going to open up our imaging software here. All righty, so I got an image here. I'm going to do a little magic, make it look a little brighter. All righty, so we've got a better looking image right here. So really cool. Apple really came out with a really top tier new device. A couple new changes this time around. And maybe mainly the biggest thing I want to start on would have to be the new M4 chip. Uh, it shows up here, this big square on the center of the PCB. Uh, so you can see here, this is where the magic happens. This is where all the power management and all the stuff you're able to achieve with this new iPad Pro. Super cool stuff. And then probably because of, you know, all that great new power in that chip, you know, you even have a smaller battery, these big blocks here. One thing that Apple iPad Pros known for is their crisp, clean, smooth sound. And that's brought, brought to us with these four speakers here, being able to deliver that sound no matter like the orientation of the iPad, super good stuff. One of the big changes, they've moved the selfie camera to landscape. People were already tilting their iPad over and uh, you know, already going into that landscape mode to you know prop it up better, especially if you're on like the magic camera and stuff. So if you look here, you'll see these black squares here and even down here. These are magnets, and those magnets will you know connect to the magic keyboard, or in this specific spot here. This will be like your docking station for the new iP uh, Apple Pencil Pro. Uh, the magnets are a really dense material. So anytime you have like lead or really dense materials that are going to, they're going to absorb the x-rays more than pass through and give us that image. So yeah, looking here, I could see these big rectangles. These are the batteries right here. So yeah, really neat. Uh, these are around 3,800, 3,900 milliamp an hour. Much, a little bit smaller than the old iPads, which had around a 4,300 milliamp an hour. Yeah, the less battery in order to make the iPad a lot more thinner, the thinnest that it's ever been at this point. So yeah, thanks for watching. It's been great being able to show these x-rays with you. Till next time.